Traffic was bad, so she lost another hour. She was exhausted and unmotivated to go back into town, and she was too tired to make dinner, so she ordered pizza. So kind of think of some options that Sarah could do to, to create some, you know, positive cues in her daily plan. And I'll give you guys about five to seven minutes. Okay.
She actually talks about, you know, motivating like it's all about your, you know, you have you are the one stopping yourself from making right. things happen, and that was she talks about getting out of bed. Don't wait for the snooze. Don't yes. Snooze. You know, just get up. You know, right? That might be something good to post on our website. <laughs> I'll have to find that link to that TED talk. Yeah, that's good. And it is. It's it's uh, at this point Sarah is waking up like if she doesn't realize you know she's got to recognize for herself you know if I don't wake up I'm gonna be late I'm gonna be stressed I'm gonna be rushed so. So those are some good options. Set two alarms, four alarms, set it across the room. Very, very, um, you know, realistic uh, options for Sarah. Use the same tone for uh -huh. your alarm as the ring comes up, oh. and then you're like, oh, somebody's calling, calling me. <laughs> 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 that's, good. that's a good idea. Like, uh, that's a very good idea. So, I, and someone had mentioned setting an annoying tone. <laughs> so something that's going to just annoy you enough to just get up. <laughs> Okay, so Sarah did not have her exercise clothes packed. 
and she forgot them. So what is something Sarah could do? Pack them the night before. Absolutely. Sorry. Put them put okay. Put them in the car the night before. Absolutely, that's a good idea. Putting them by the door that you normally walk out of, maybe that would be helpful too. Keep extra clothes in the car. Yeah. I keep a entire week's worth of clothes in my car. In your car? Okay. Yeah. So well, after I clean them, like after they're done cleaning, yeah. they all go in the back. They all go back in the car. So yeah. that yeah. way, yeah. she can't so forget them. Right. And she had a bag in, in the exercise class. Oh, yeah. You put your keys down in the exercise bag. <laughs> um, I keep a set at work. Sorry? If you can run a locker at the gym, you can. Okay, yeah. As I say, keeping them, keep them there at your gym. If you, if you have access to a locker, keeping them, keep keeping an extra set at work if you can. Those are all very good options. That way, Sarah cannot forget it. Even if she forgets them at home, they're still there at work or in the car. Okay, so Sarah's feeling pretty good now. She's got some options. Well, now she's tasked with something that pushed her schedule back an hour at work. What could Sarah do? So maybe just skip it. Skip the exercise. Skip the activity. But her boss, remember, he is very critical. It sounds like she's doing some exercise at work. Yeah. She was. Yeah. She was. So she might not so, need quite as much exercise. Maybe she could just take a little walk around her house or her neighborhood. Yeah. You know. That's a very good. Yes. So she got home. Sarah could count her stretching her up and down off the floor. I mean, she's exhausted. She's soaked in sweat. You know, she could. She did some exercise. She did do some exercise. Anything else? Thanks for help at work. Ask for help at work, absolutely. She's got a co-worker that just sits on Facebook all day. <laughs> you know, she could use some help, so she could go ask her co-worker for some help. Um, something I thought maybe, um, if Sarah has the flexibility in her schedule, maybe um, the next, maybe she could delegate some tasks to put them on the schedule for tomorrow to do. That way she stays on schedule today and maybe could spend some little extra time on that tomorrow. Um, okay, so traffic was bad. So Sarah lost another hour in her daily step. That's her fault. <laughs> Go home and walk around the block instead of driving back to the exercise gym. Absolutely. Use yes. some common sense. Go home. <laughs> yes. So she could go home and do some walking? No, we she can actually do, if walk. If you want, we can uh, do the exercise by standing like that. Yeah. It's <laughs> So if it's snowing, if it's snowing outside, like if it's almost cold, you know, she could do some indoor exercise. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, you are running on the same place. Yeah, running on the same place. Yeah, running on the same place. Yeah, running on the same place. She can walk up to the school and run to the traffic jam like I would go to school and I can't stop being behind the buses. Oh, you can do this when I drive behind the buses. Okay, school. No, I'll wait to leave. Okay. It's going to get me home sooner. Great. She could stay and, and you know, and she yeah. brings her exercise clothes. She could do that around. Or she could just kill some time. Yeah, kill some time. Walk, walk the halls, you know. You know, that's that's good. That's very good. Um, Anything else? Depending on how close she is to the work. At work. Uh -huh. um, is just to set some type of timer to uh -huh. make her get up and walk every so often. Okay. So yes. Yeah. During the day, maybe every every hour on the hour, maybe ten minute yeah. walk. Yeah, and I know sometimes it's hard, but it just yeah, just, just something that could remind her, you know, if she jogs and plays. Yeah, absolutely. She could do some chair exercises at her desk. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. If you get stuck in traffic, you know, a lot of times you get frustrated and yeah. stressed out, and it just increases more your stress sure. and you get more tired. Mm -hmm. Well, use it like put music in, or do absolutely. use it for your time your alone, time. your calm time. Yes. Instead of and just say this is my I got an hour. Your time, now. yeah, your time to think. Yeah. Kind of release everything that you you had at work, so that when you go home you're not as stressed. Right. You know, try to get your mind off work. Try to listen to some music, so meditation. Somebody tries to cut in front of them. Yeah. in front of. Yeah, just, just be nice. Yeah. Come with kindness. Be nice for them. <laughs> yeah, so she could it's, she could do some meditation. The stress. Well, she could stretch in her seat. Yeah. I said something that's a little unrealistic for Morgantown, but I said take a different route. <laughs> so and I know that's not favorable in Morgantown. Yeah. But something, you know, if she lives in a, in a city or somewhere, you know, if you live somewhere where you could, that's an option too. I mean, she can make a margin of time. Uh -huh. uh, because if it takes like 25 minutes to go to the office, she should uh, to put the margin on 15 minutes or 20 minutes for the traffic. Yes, yeah, so. So there will be no stress. Right, she, she could ex kind of give, that, give herself that time yeah. for the schedule. Yeah, so she's aware, she knows that it's going to take an additional 15 minutes, right? Yeah. Very good. Okay. So Sarah was exhausted and unmotivated to go back into town to exercise. 
Did you find another gym? <laughs> found something close by? Mm -hmm. But her gym membership's free at work. Do something at home. How about at home? Yeah. So if Sarah could, you know, <laughs> you can Google anything now and, and find a 21 day workout plan or, you know, some in, at home exercises. Yeah. Okay. You can stream. Yeah. So, you have membership for that. Okay. So streaming some videos at home. Um, you know, Sarah could instead of going. You know, she did really work really hard at, at work today. She did that activity board. So she could do some exercise at home, like maybe a 15 minute jogging in place, doing some things in front of the TV. But if Sarah's like me, she's got a dog that won't let her do it. So maybe she could go downstairs, walk up and down the stairs if she has it. Maybe just for a solid 10 minutes, anything, you know. She could walk the dog. She could walk the dog. Absolutely. The dog would very much appreciate that. <laughs> so Sarah could take her dog out. Instead of uh, having a delivery guy bring the pizza to her, uh -huh. she could walk to the pizza place. She could walk to the pizza place. <laughs> now, does she live in a Morgantown? <laughs> well, there is a pizza place on every street. Okay, so Sarah's got some options now. She's exhausted. She doesn't want to get back into town, but she can still... She can, um, you know, have some alternatives at home. So, so next we'll finish out with too tired to make dinner. She orders a pizza. So say she can't help it, she just had to have that pizza. She could walk to get the pizza rather than have it delivered. Anybody else have a different option? She could have some frozen leftovers that she could heat up. Good, good. She could have some frozen meals ready so that she could just pop it in the oven or pop it in the microwave and have them ready. Another member of her family, like her husband, to go out and, and get a healthier meal. Get a healthier meal. Yes, if she has a member, female member at home, maybe they could go get her something. Yeah. We also came up with a vegetarian pizza. A vegetarian pizza? Yes. Yes, Sarah. She just got. She, she got. She got extra cheese with double pepperoni. So having a vegetarian. Yes. Vegetarian pizza get a little bit more vegetables. Yeah. Well, it seems like she's having a totally stressful day. Right. And I think stress is a lot of what causes people to not do the right things. Okay. Right. So my thought was, if she'd have gotten off the merry-go-round, if she just, you know, on her way home said, I'm going to stop someplace relaxing, uh -huh. have a, where I can get a healthy meal, and I'm going to take my <laughs> distract myself from all this stress and the, the rush hour traffic. Okay. Sit. Have, have a nice meal, meal uh -huh. and then head home after. That's a very, very, And then very, very spend the relaxing rest of the day if, if she had enough energy. Get a stiff drink on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very, very good option. So, yeah, I mean, so that. Sometimes, if you find that you're on this, do something to get off. Do something to get off. Absolutely. And, and on our way home, you know, say she's got a lot of options, she could stop and have that. a quicker, healthier meal and relax. Rather than going home and resorting straight to the so that's she, when she gets home, hopefully she won't be so stressed. Right. She Maybe she then she could. Place. Right. That's a very good <laughs> idea. So, says to, to stop somewhere on the way home, you know, then uh, that way you can also beat the traffic too. If there's something close by or, you know, on your route to home, stop, have a nice, slow, relaxing dinner that could be healthier than pizza. Very, very good idea. You know, she's allowed to eat only one month time in a week. Yeah. Okay. So these are all very good options. You guys really helped Sarah. She's feeling less stressed. She's got some options. Now she's going to pick an option to try. So we'll have to kick or we'll have to check back with Sarah in a couple weeks. So now that you all have uh, have worked with Sarah through um, her her action plan, we're going to do our own positive action plan. And so I'm going to give you a piece of paper because I would like for you all to fill out a positive action plan and put your code on it, and then I want to collect them because I'd like to read them and see if there's any way that we can help you with your positive action plan. Now, you can also write it on your page as well, but I'm going to be giving these back to you next week. So if you would kind of like one for a, a positive action plan for yourself and one for us, um, you can definitely do that. So, but just remember to write your code on these. You don't have to write your name, just your character. And we'll collect them at the end. And like I said, we'll read them and then we'll give them back to you. <laughs> so think of something that you're really struggling with and a way that we can make this a positive. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So you've got about five minutes to work on this and then we'll finish up. Okay? I'm <laughs> sorry.
Are you doing okay on your action plans? Yeah. They have any questions? I'm good with the roadblocks. I'm not good with the cutoff with the... Right now. <laughs> 
Okay, so go ahead and uh, finish up a little bit. If you're if you're done, uh, I can collect it. Just let me know. I think Dr. Mizer wants to make a couple announcements before we leave. in front of that, 
that will help everyone. As, I mean, we know you, you and your name, but we want everyone else to know each other. So that will really help, okay? So if you can please. Marie, yeah. Marie. To the hand, to Okay, two lifters. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. So next time, please have that in front of you, so it will help everyone. That's all for today. I'm going to meet with Paul first. Um, Paul. Uh, okay. Thank we are you. Done for today. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll collect your papers. Thank you very much. Nice to see you. Have fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. You were next week. I have it for you. Okay. It's okay. You're talking to the girl who just depends on her. Thank you. <laughs> so which one which one of you guys is like a gourmet chef? I'm like, I'm gonna make a sweet tea. No, healthy one. <laughs> Now, Thanksgiving dinner, I will make the unhealthy way. <laughs> no. Um, it's, 